Hey, so what's going on guys, how are you doing? This is Project 939 here, and today I'm going to be bringing you my very own analysis of the Battlefield Premium trailer, which was leaked today, I'm meant to be shown at E3 tomorrow, but I guess that didn't really work out so well. But anyways, uh, I just want to quickly say that none of the things that I say, or most of the things that I say, are not confirmed, they are merely speculation, but I'd be surprised if some of the things that I say don't show up in the final product. So anyways, um, it says that you will own all five expansion packs, so that includes all the ones that are going to be shown coming up now, and um, there was some speculation towards that, but I guess that's been confirmed. Now, you're going to get back to Carcan, which was basically the one that people weren't sure whether you'd be getting in the service. I'm just going to play it in slow motion for those of you who haven't seen or played back to Carcan yet. Uh, for a quick uh, quick personal opinion, it was pretty good, I think. And um, now we're going to move on to the good stuff. Close quarters, frantic and relentless infantry action. Two weeks early access, and that applies throughout the whole thing. Now, there is a close quarters DLC trailer, which will show a lot more than this um, short preview. But... Um, you can get a look at some of the new weapons. You've got a single fire one there and a uh, what looks like a PDW or a, a submachine gun there. Uh, but yeah, there will be a link in the description to that trailer where you'll see much more. Now, armored kill, all out vehicle warfare. Um, judging by that poster, there's a tank which kind of goes with that theme, I suppose. Now, judging by the crosshairs on this tank, well, I haven't seen it before or any of the weapons, so uh, could speculate that that is a new tank that's being shown. Now, here in the top left, I can see some jets that I haven't seen before, so suggesting that there's some new ones. And also, uh, quad bike is my speculation as there is no roof and it looks a little bit like the one from Bad Company 2 uh, very very cool and there will be some backup on that in a moment now I'm going to play the rest of this um, this um, segment in slow motion just to get an idea of the map itself very long highway as you can see on the mini map a lot of spawn points this is probably PC footage there might be less on console but it looks like 7 or 8 there in the bottom left a uh, new weapon there and uh, jets flying overhead and also a, possibly a new LAV there shown quickly at the end. Now moving on we have Aftermath Fight for Survival. Now uh, not much can be confirmed here because it's classified Black Ops style but um, the guy seems to have a beard which I don't know I'm gonna guess it's some sort of post-apocalyptic survival sort of thing and um, I don't know, like, it's like speculation, but it kind of the beard kind of fits with a stereotype. Now, this is Endgame, which is also classified lethal high-speed action. There's some jets on that poster, and there is a lot of uh, controversy or speculation as to what the man in the poster is riding. It looks like either a horse or some form of motorbike. Now, own more weapons, 20 new weapons. Um, I don't know, really. Uh, if that includes the ones from Bats Karkan, there were 10 in that. There's 10 in close quarters. Now, where does that leave more of? What? Where does that leave room for more weapons, I mean? I don't know, but it's not confirmed yet. Now, there is a kind of a wheel of weapons there. I saw the Spaz-12, but I'm no expert on the weapons. It looks like a uh, maybe a TAR or an AUG there. Uh, like I said, I'm no expert. Uh, I think you... Uh, any of weapon experts there leave a comment because you can probably judge those weapons better than I can uh, but yeah pause the video if you want to see more of those weapons now moving on you can own more vehicles if you when you get the DLCs if you do over 10 new vehicles re-erected over 10 now you can kind of see a truck there an LAV down there quad bike which backs up my point earlier another kind of tank or LAV there and also up at the top there an AC-130 or it looks like an AC-130 to me at least which would be very very cool I can imagine uh, with the destruction and the graphics and everything like that now own more customization um, exclusive dog tags exclusive and exclusive camo for kits and weapons meaning that um, probably you will only get it if you have the premium service now those dog tags they could be the ones that you get if so i don't know it's um, if so i don't really i don't think they're that great but hey it's not confirmed yet as i've said many times now moving on now this is, comes an interesting part you get new assignments which means the assignment system is still intact and also some new game modes which is where i'm going to pause the video we've got tank superiority which i can see might maybe being some form of team deathmatch but with tanks on the armored kill dlc Gunmaster, which could uh, go with the um, fight for survival theme of Aftermath. Conquest Domination, which has been a confirmed game mode in Close Quarters, and more. Do not forget. Very, very exciting stuff there to see what DICE comes up with. Now, that kind of sums everything up here. This little screen shows you all the things you get. A uh, new knife, new game modes, stuff like that. And Battlefield Premium. Own more available now so uh, right at the end here we see a short footage of a map that i haven't seen before possibly a new one maybe of armored kill or close quarters maybe it's outside who knows uh using that new knife it looks like some form of stiletto but anyways that is the end of the video thank you very very much for watching i've never done a video like this before so i'd be interested to hear how you think i got on um 
the full trailer as I said was leaked and it might not still be live or online for very long but like I said it's going to be announced at E3 which after that point I can't really see it being classified anymore so thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed please do subscribe it makes my day but for now thank you very much for watching 